Yeah, hi guys, this is another uh, coffee table that I picked up from the street for free using my heat gun that I also found. Uh, yeah, this was painted black, um, as you can see, <laughs> on the street, and they even decided to paint the weave part black, um, which is going to take a while. They put um, the old polyurethane on there, so I sanded it. Used the heat gun and stripped it off with the scraper, as you can see, came off really nicely. And so this is the original timber, and the same under there. Not sure what it is, but yeah. And then I stripped all the legs, and it's the same timber for the legs there. So yeah, sand it down, and I started working on this one. Here we go, stripping it down. Yeah. Came up quite nicely. And yeah, strip this down. You leave a few marks behind, but sand will pick all that up. I'm not going to be too bothered in stripping this whole thing out. I think I'll just sand the front and uh, might keep the old colour, just clean it up a bit. Yeah, so that's going to be a big project. But uh, yeah, it will take a while. I've also got this coffee table. Uh, for free, guy threw it out and it was full of uh, cup stains. Uh, the picture's a bit blurry. And I really decided in fixing these uh, blurry photos. So uh, yeah, and that came up nice. Sand stripped off the uh, coating. That was before I used the heat gun, so there was a few scuff marks, but gave it a good sand up and and then. Uh, Used some wood filler and filled all these cracks in here, as you can see. Yeah, it came out really nice. And I, I just wanted to leave a bit of the uh, the uh, old nicks in it. So then, didn't want to take too much of it off. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. So, um, leaving it out, out from the house, I need to build a drawer for it. So I need to get some scrap macrocarpa timber to make that that's going to be interesting because it goes in quite deep so not sure what i'm going to do there <laughs> another project and um this is the door i got for free so yeah it would have been about 12 or 13 coats of paint so i used paint stripper and then i just scraped the rest off and then i threw the belt sander over around the sides so I'm gonna, Scrape the rest of that. It's like a tarry sort of paint. Guy was saying it's about 120 or 30 years old. So um, yes, I'm not sure what timber it is. I think it might be gum. It's bloody heavy, <laughs> but it's perfect for a dining table. So I'm going to put a epoxy resin in here and the same in here. I want to keep it clear epoxy so we can still see what's underneath because yeah, there's quite a lot of. Um, it's quite nice. You can see what who used the door. All these nice rough marks on it. It's really nice. I don't want to take too much of the uh, the wear off there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's what you can find for free. You can just do it up. Take your time in doing it up. Yeah. You've got heaps of free things. Ma, the fan. Most of the stuff in here is free. Some of it I brought, but most of it, even the uh, where the tools are kept, I built that out of rubbish. So <laughs> anyway, 